Between 2007 and 2012, there has been a 57% increase in young people becoming homeless. The main cause of young homeless people, aged 16 to 24 today, is due to breakdowns in relationships or unemployment. 62% of teenagers in the UK are neither in education or employment, putting strains on associations which are put in place to help these people from living on the streets. 48% of these associations told us they had to turn down people from help due to lack of resources. Should our government do more to help these people? What do you think of when you hear the word homeless? Someone who's fallen on hard times, someone who's um, got nothing, someone who needs help. Uh, violence, domestic violence. Individuals that have lost their, their homes due to um, poor financial conditions and therefore they've just had to give up, they've been evicted and have nowhere to live. Do you feel sympathy for them? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Very much so, especially in today's um, economic climate. Uxbridge College, based in Hillenden, has a department called Student Support. Here I spoke to Sarah about the support they can provide for their students who have or are facing problems with becoming homeless or being kicked out. How many people a year, roughly, come to you um, to Student Support when they've been kicked out or become homeless? Serious homelessness, maybe 10 or 20. A year? Wow. So what do you do to help them? The first thing that we'll do is listen to what that person has to say about the issue that they're having. Mm -hmm. um, it depends very much on what their particular issue is and also what age they are as well because there's different support for if you're under 18 oh, or yeah. over 18. Um, if they were 16, 17 um, and were actually homeless and didn't have anywhere to go that night then um, we might have to get social services involved. Do you feel as a department in Oxbridge College that you do provide quite a lot of support for them? Yes, definitely. I mean, within our limitations, because we don't, at the end of the day, have any housing. Them becoming homeless? In an extreme case, maybe somebody's orphaned. Um, that does happen, and in that case, then, as, again, if they're 16 or 17, they might yeah. end up becoming a looked-after child by social services. Um, sometimes it will be family disputes, and um, and that's a really common thing that we see, actually, is yeah. um, students that have had trouble with their family. A hostel is an establishment which provides inexpensive food and shelter for those who find themselves without a home. I went to Halsden to see Shauna, who has just previously moved out of a hostel after four years of living there. What are the requirements to get into a hostel? Um, basically, I just went down to the housing, yeah. um, explained my situation, I had nowhere else to go, yeah. and they come out to where I lived at my nan's house and um, just made sure that I was living there and yeah. I wasn't lying. And then, they called me back for an appointment the next day and then they just give me the keys there and then... What made you get a hostel? Because um, I felt pregnant with my daughter yeah. and then um, obviously I was living with my nan and granddad so there was no space. Yeah. And obviously where they're old as well, yeah, they yeah. couldn't handle yeah. a newborn yeah. being there. Did you enjoy living there? No, we was there for four years and it was disgusting and it was really horrible. Um, it had mice constantly, cockroaches, everything, you yeah. know, and the more you tell them, you know, they, they ran the pest control maybe twice and then I done it. So you had to do everything by yourself, by no myself. help at all? No, and then if anything broke in there, you know, yeah. they wouldn't fix it, you know, yeah. it was really bad. How did you go about getting rehoused? Yeah, I literally just rang the private sector team and just told them, you know, that I'm not having it anymore. I was there for five years getting no help. So then uh, I had to go for um, a meeting, you know, to see if you're eligible for it yeah. and stuff. Obviously, you know, to see if you're up to date with your rent. Then you have to wait like two or three weeks, you know, for that to all go yeah. through and be like, like verified and stuff. And then they start sending you for um, viewings. Yeah. You know, but the only thing is, it's not in where it's private. It's not yeah. in the area you want. You, you want. Know? Are you happy with this area? I am. Yeah. It's not. I didn't really like the area. Yeah. That's the only thing you can't. You can't. You can't the choose. Area. Yeah. But they sent me to about. I went to see about eight different, you know, flats. And yeah. They was really bad. A2 Dominion is a housing association which is one of the country's leading providers of high quality housing and services.
This housing association has over 34,000 housing across London. They're affordable and cater for all needs. They have more than 52,000 residents. I'm going to talk to Sarah Barrett, an estates manager within this company. What is your job role within the housing association? My job role is an estates manager. What that means is um, effectively a housing officer. So what yeah. we have to do on a daily basis is um, deal with rent arrears, so people who haven't paid their rent, and we can take them to court for that, try and get them the right sort of support to find out if there's a reason why they're in yeah. rent arrears, such as family problems or benefit issues. What are the requirements to be able to get? A house or a flat? They need to be homeless. So what, yeah. what happens if somebody's made homeless, they could register with a local council oh, and the yeah. local council will put them on like a bidding list that each week the person will have to bid to try and find a property. Yeah. So a list will come up on the internet, they have a look at the property, say it's a two-bedroom property and they've, they've got enough people in their family to warrant a two-bedroom property, they could they could bid for that. What are the people like on a day-to-day basis that you deal with? People, they can be any way, any which way. I've had some people on the phone today yeah. being extremely polite and extremely worried that they're slightly in rent arrears. Usually it's elderly people who are more worried about being 1p in arrears. Yeah. Um, I've had someone today on the phone who I suspect was high on speed. Right. You know, we have family, single people, elderly people, younger mm-hmm. people, we deal with all kinds of people. Um, and they can be very nice, you know, it's our, our mm. duty to help them where we can. There are numerous ways for young people to receive help from the government and various associations such as AT Dominion, which support or has vulnerable people. However, more should be done as a survey taken in January 2014 found there were still 777 young people sleeping rough per night.